So let's get started. It's well, we didn't stream yesterday, so I think the last thing we did was beat Genichiro, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, now I think we need to find Isen, or I think that was his name, right? Find Lord Ishin. Ishin. And ask if he knows how we might sever the ties of immortality. He's recuperating in one of the watchtowers outside this castle keep. Reach the roof from that open window, then follow the nightjar smoke signals. I entrust this task to you. Ah, so the smoke signals were actually important. I think what, a, like two streams ago, we were like uh, going around trying to take them all down, wasting our time all for nothing. Yeah, I'm doing good, pretty. Uh, uh, I'm doing pretty good, noob. Thanks for asking. All right, so follow the smoke. Okay, let me just, uh, let's hope I don't make too many mistakes. I think I remember all the buttons. You know what's crazy? I've mentioned this, um, I think a couple times, but... Oh, he's right there. I didn't think it'd be that easy to find. Ah, uh, I'll talk about this after. I'm sure there's gonna be a cutscene. About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Sake. What? You earned it. Take it. Unrefined sake, a bottle of cloudy unrefined sake given by Ishin. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of Ishin Asina's favorite. It has a rich, full bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one drunk, drunk too quickly. And I think we took the sumo guy down and he gave us something similar, if not exactly the same. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the iron code of the shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? Hey, Lightning Shot. Welcome to the stream. The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The Mortal Blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade. With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die. The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart or remove their head and they wouldn't die. <laughs> if the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Mm. To kill a monster such as that, you need the mortal blade. I'm, I'm doing pretty good lightning shot. Thanks for asking. How about you? Yo, Aqua Hoodie. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be posting the Let's Play in a, in a much higher quality. So just, uh, I mean, I have a couple episodes posted, but for some reason, the uh, YouTube is just not processing the HDR. I mean, I guess I could just release it as a 4K video, but I went through all the trouble to get it so you can get a nice HDR video. And it's been like three days and it still has not. And the worst thing is that they don't even tell you like, oh, it's going to take this much time or, oh, hey, you made a mistake somewhere. Um, Reupload it or something. Nope. Just have to sit there and wait. I heard some people say it might take up to 10 days, which is crazy. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. I feel like I've 
been to that place. Is that the place with the monks? I think it is. Wait, hold on. Tree. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. <sighs> That's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? What do you mean? You two cross blades, did you not? Uh -huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that is a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. <laughs> I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. Oh, that's good to hear, lightning shot. Glad you're doing great. Hey, don't feel sorry for me. I'm just trying to upload the episodes for you guys. Uh, I mean, I have like four episodes uploaded because the file, si file sizes are just so damn large. It takes me forever to upload them. Um, it does kind of annoy me that there's like no indicator of anything. But that's that's pretty much it. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. <laughs> That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate. And you lose. Hey, welcome to the stream, Assassin. I just realized, how does this guy know our name is Sekiro? Someone else gave us that name. And I don't think we've ever repeated it. Sekiro, what is it you wish to learn about severing the ties of immortality? We also don't have a, a name badge. Okay, I think that's You're it pretty much. Another? Let's go talk to the Divine Heir, see if he has anything new to say. What the? Oh my god, dude. I guess I shouldn't be taking these leaps of faith. Let's just teleport. Seems like it's the easiest uh, way to get back. You know, I, I don't think I can use your magic. Because I was only using my... I mean, I technically wasn't even using the lightning magic. Um, I was pretty much just deflecting the lightning attack. And it was kind of hard for me. I only did it once. Uh, which one was it? Man, this place is always so confusing. Uh, I think it's that one. Yeah, they did mention that Sekiro means one-armed wolf. I guess it I guess it's not too surprising that someone else has called me that. Oh, I guess you're right. Everybody does call him Wolf. That's Tengu. His costume is in the room. Wait, is that something I can pick up? Should I go pick Still it up? so much dust. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? 
That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it. Probably Dojun. Hmm. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Great. Now I have to go to two places. One for the prosthetic and one for the gourd seeds. I don't think I have one, do I? Wait, oh, I did have a gourd seed. Sure, why not? Here, for you. Oh my, if this isn't Lord Ishin's favorite sake, I'll have some. Oh, you can even see her drinking it. Nice. Delicious. Hmm. All right, all right. Please. Hmm? Take it Say easy. Something. There is something I'd like to ask you. Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? Uh, Lord Ishin. But I only have a passing interest. I do not believe your skill counts as a mere passing interest. Why did you learn? Well, not to kill people. What do you mean? No, I don't have the slightest desire to kill anyone. It's just, I would want to kill a demon if one were to appear. A demon? <laughs> don't take me seriously. It was only a joke. Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before. If only a little. Hmm. Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. Master Wolf, it looks your... Hmm. Please. Seki means half a pairing, referring to his limbs, and Ro is wolf. Goodbye. Sekiro is short for Sekiwan. Sekiwan no Ro, which is the proper term for one-armed wolf. Wonder if that's some foreshadowing with the demon. Am I, you want me to do Shore's How ending? Long have these books well, been here? Unless that's something I stumble into. I mean, if it's something very specific, you're probably going to have to uh, help me with that. Wolf found something. I opened the library. Meet me there. Oh, is it like one of those choice kind of things? Library. Is this the library? Oh, it is. <coughs> oh, this dust is awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said, the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. My lord, 
This is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the undying pledge of the dragon's heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely. Wolf, if you so desire, I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. The sure ending is the bad ending and basically cuts the game in half. Skips a bunch of bosses, but it also has two unique bosses of its own. Hmm. Definitely don't want to skip a bunch of bosses. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Lord Takeru's dragon blood lives on with you. I humbly accept. Yes. You may open your eyes now. My lord. Additional resurrective power has been granted. That was a boon granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. Only way to do all bosses in Sekiro is to do two playthroughs. Hey, that might be something we do. I gotta say, I am enjoying this game quite a bit. And I, I mean, I don't know, but is this like one of the shorter games? I have a feeling that this is probably not going to be as long as definitely not Elden Ring. But I imagine it's, I don't think this is game is going to take us like 50, 60 hours. I imagine 20, 30 hours and we're probably done. A flower. First, read this. A note from Kuro written by... Takeru, former heir of the dragon heritage. It is said that relatives of Tome once gathered the fountain at fragrance and arrived at the palace. You may find a key where the waters of rejuvenation converge in a deep pool, a white and deeply fragrant flower. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the fountainhead aroma and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the fountainhead aroma. A place where the fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place. The fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the white serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Isn't that another place that I found? I think I've already found like a a sculptor's idol pretty much in that area. Hey, I'm down to do all the bosses we come across. And if I'm in danger of missing any bosses, you guys have my permission to let me know. Because I definitely don't want to miss anything. In terms of bosses, at least. I mean, it, and I guess NPC interactions. I don't want to miss that either, but I'm less worried about that. My lord, this is for you. This is... A document written by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. It is beneath Ashina. Now that you mention it, about the well near the Moonview Tower, I've read it may have some connection with the bottomless hole. This may be worth investigating. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. Jump in the hole? I do not know. Huh. I don't know either. See if you can think of a place. My lord. You're leaving. Wolf, I'm counting on you. My lord. Hey, uh, lightning shot. If uh, the bad guys use your magic again, we'll deflect it right back at them. 
Okay. Anything new from you? I'm glad you've come, Matt. Oh no, just back to the usual stuff. Master Wolf, it looks at your hmm. place. Okay. Goodbye. Well, we've already been to I think both of those places. Yeah, Sunken Valley. We kind of just got to the edge of it and decided to turn around. And then I think, yeah, Senpu Temple. We did a little bit of it, but then we kind of left. Let's uh, start off with this. The gauntlets were wild. He beat Sekiro in 2019, but didn't find out about the gauntlets till a few months ago. It was fun figuring out how to beat the inner bosses. Oh, damn. We start out all the way over here. That is kind of annoying. I guess technically we didn't find another uh, sculptor's idol. It's unfortunate. Oh, we also have three... Uh, nice, we have three red dots for uh, resurrection. So we took care of all these guys last time. Don't technically want to deal with them again. Especially if I don't have to. Actually, I don't think I do. I could just kind of... Oof. Yeah, I don't think they can come after me. Also... Oh, no, I don't want to take you out. I think taking this guy out is just enough. The other three won't even bother me. Not that they can get out here anyways. Okay, so this is as far as we went last time. Ah, flung the it's all the fresh one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice any time. Have any rice? Rice from the divine child. This lady's so weird, but you know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of the characters in the Souls games that would uh resolve you of any sin if you like if you accidentally like hit an NPC and they were no longer friendly to you and they would always aggro when you see them. You would go to the guy and confess your sins and kind of reset everything. That's kind of what she seems like, but I don't know if that's even a thing in this game. Okay, so I think, yeah, we didn't, we didn't go anywhere past this. This guy I think we can take care of once he walks in here. I think, yeah, if you take people out in here, nobody sees you. At least that's how it usually seems to be the case. And then we'll take this guy out, then it'll just be a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, he didn't see us either. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if there's a way to sneak up on him. Also, I guess we should make sure there's no enemies here. Oop. Two enemies here. Oops. Damn it. Uh, d -d -d axe. Oh, great. I wasn't trying to do that, but all right. Ooh. Not expecting that. Oh. Oh, geez. Not so good to have two of them. 
Damn it. It was like the last... I probably should not should have left those guys alone. Oh, I guess they, uh, they see me on that. This is not going to be well. Yeah, taking two of these guys out is kind of a pain. Let's see, do I have anything that'll help me? In terms of, I guess, firecrackers might be nice, but I don't know how nice that's going to really be. Damn these guys with their stupid... Oh, jeez. Okay, forget you guys. No need to die over this. Wait. Can't come up here, can ya? Wonder what the point of going up there is. Oop, couldn't make it. Why couldn't I make it up there? Oh, it's just some of these emblems. Oh, is, that, is there actually something over here? Well, there's something over there, but I don't think I can make it from here. There's another dude down there. I don't know where he was. The rice is special. You don't know it's for Laura. The rice from the divine child. It's like a divine blessing. I see. Makes sense. I don't think I could just jump down there. I think that'll definitely kill me. There we go. That's much easier. Ooh, that was worth it. Heavy coin purse. Wait, where's... Who's targeting me? Oh, this dude. Okay. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Still screwing up. Hate fighting on the stairs. Ooh, I knocked him to the ground. You would think I'd be able to kill him pretty easy after that. There we go. Much easier when it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, now we have some some time to think, but where we can actually go? Oh, there it is. At least I think so. Seems like a, a place we can go. Not just a dead end. And nice. I guess we could have just skipped those two guys if we wanted to. These games are definitely easier when you know where you're going. Because then you can kind of just skip past all the enemies, technically. Is that the way to go? Or do we need to go further in this direction. Oh man, it's hard to tell. Let's see what's on this. Maybe maybe they both just lead to the same place. Let's see if this takes us to anything. 
Oh, just some enemies. Nope. I don't want to get poisoned. Those guys are actually kind of, you know, any any enemy with like a, a short weapon like that is really annoying. Hard to see them swing. Oh, these guys. How did the other guy last that long? I broke that, that second dude's posture like instantly. Okay, it looks like there's some stuff over there. But it looks like we have to go up anyways. So yeah, I guess it... it oh, I didn't even see you. I guess it, it really did just lead to the same place. Well, worst place to... Oh, the guy was deflecting. That's why his posture gauge didn't go up that much. What the... Oh my god, I can't believe he killed me. I thought for sure I was going to break his posture. What the hell happened? Uh oh. A bad place to fight this dude. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I died. No, I can't, can't have this guy killing me. Oh, well, the short guys are weak to axe. Thanks for the tip. I'm weak to falling off edges. It's weird. I can't believe some of them are just like super easy. And then other ones are just difficult. So bizarre. So it looked like we could jump in that direction, but I'm not really sure if that's even what we want to do. Let's just go in this direction for now. See where it takes us. That looks scary. I've watched enough animes to know something's going to happen in there. A small pinwheel made of red and white paper found about halfway up Mount Congo. The red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round. Everyone is right here. Well, it's not like we have much of a choice. I guess let's just go in there. I guess we could check the other direction, see where that takes us. But I guess we should probably do this first. <laughs> 